All righty, good day to all of you glorious Rascalian Resonators, you absolute legends. The name is Fox Soul. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Weathering Waves. Today's video is actually at the request of several different people asking me to make a video on Yoohoo to go through her kit and basically give a roundabout idea of where I think she'll be good at, what she's not going to be good at, what team structure, stuff like that. And first, like I say and everything, disclaimer wise, I'm just going to go through the kit. I'm going to go look at everything. I'm going to give my opinion on the character's design, everything else like that in general as well, and just give you straight up my personal opinion. So if you're interested, take a seat at the bar, kick your feet up, grab a cold one, and let's dive right into you. All right, so talking about Yoohoo real quick, I just want to showcase, you know, the standard drip imagery from Weathering Waves themselves with Yoohoo. She is a four-star uh, Glacial character that will do melee damage. Uh, she, I stated in an older video that she was a rectifier. Uh, I'm completely wrong about that. I knew I was wrong about that in that video. I just said it because there was some misinformation with weatheringlabs.com, and I will showcase that here, the reason why that was stated. But with Yoohoo in in general um she is your child-based character like encore and like varan and you know i'll be honest uh from everything that i've seen so far with you who i am more interested in this character than the shorekeeper oh my gosh i know i'm gonna get some hate for that one but i am actually more interested because this is from everything i've read from everything i've seen with you who so far she is gotcha the character she is gambling the character and you know that actually that actually, for some reason, appeals to me. I'm not a person who likes playing child-based characters, but you who's probably going to be one of the first characters that I'm actually going to end up attempting to put on my team, use, as, use her as a healer, and I think I got a couple of different team ideas to put her on. Now, I will showcase this. If you are using weatheringlabs.com like I was, um, they got misinformation such as the weapon. She's not a rectifier. She's a melee character, like I stated. The alt right here is that they have put out right here. This is actually for the shorekeeper. You come down here. I am not sure what these corals right here, in a sense, if this is correct with this i think this was for the shorekeeper and i think she's going to be actually using the ice cockroaches fucking uh stuff could be wrong about that but we'll see we'll see when that time comes i can't trust right now weather because they haven't updated it with the proper information but we are going to go ahead and we're going to use loopbar.gg because loopbar.gg actually does appear to have the proper information and that's what we're going to use. And like we stated, you who is a four star resonator character that's going to be coming up in the 1.3 update with the banner, most likely with the shorekeeper. And if you're going to be summoning for shorekeeper, there's more likely a chance you'll be pulling for you who at the same time. Um, if you're interested in basic information, base HP, she's going to be at 9,975 at level 90, 263 at level 90 for attack, and defense is going to be 1,051 on level 90 for, for defense. So, basic attack, she'll do like every other character, four consecutive attacks with glacial damage. Heavy attack, uh, based on upon if the frost is full, which is from her uh, forte meter, I believe. And holding this, we'll cast Frostfall. When Frost is full, during Fortune Rowan State, release the normal attack, we'll cast Frostfall. If she cannot cast Frostfall at that moment, she will perform a lucky draw once instead. Frost can be attained from following different ways. When Frost is not full, hold normal attack to enter Fortune Rowan State to restore Frost over time. Or, you know, use basic attacks uh, on a target. Simple basic stuff here midair dodge not to worry when we take a look at the forte circuit um poetic essence now i'm probably going to mispronounce this but at four auspices uh auspice that's my bad i i i think it's auspices 
Uh, you will hold down the normal attack button, the poetic essence, dealing glacial damage, considered skill damage, and while restored HP for all nearby party members, you who can you hold up to four of them. Um, poetic essence will deal glacial damage to enemies in the range. Additionally, obtain one of the following effects based on the auspice combination. So, apparently, you will be getting four different types of them, and depending on how you pair them up, will do different things. So, free verse. Um, four different types of all spices will additionally reduce the vibration strength of hit of hit enemies. Getting a pair of them will increase poetic essence damage by 70. Getting two pairs of it, you will additionally restore HP for all nearby team members. Three identical, you'll get poetic damage by 175%. It's damage amplified. Four identical ones, you'll simultaneously uh, simultaneously activate the effects of free verse, double punt, and triple all at the same time. Which is, gotcha the game, fucking pretty damn fucking fun. I, I This is actually kind of exciting. And this sounds broken as hell to me. Casting Poetic Essence will remove all of the um, all spices. So, you who gains this through Antique Appraisal, use basic attack while holding an Antique to receive the corresponding ver uh, all spice. She will unlock all spice by casting Resonance Skill, Scroll Deviation, Intro Skills of Wonders, Heavy Attack, Res Liberation, and Dodge Counter. So, pretty much everything you're do going to do, you're going to unlock Antiques, and then if you, from my understanding, depending on which ones you get, will unlock this. So, I would say that you would try to go for always, if possible, perfect rhyme, get four identical ones to simultaneously, if, you know, activate all the effects, you know, at the same time. That sounds really fun. It sounds like the character is going to have a mini game inside of it. And that's what I that's what's drawing me to this character. It's it's gambling the character with a resonant skill scroll deviation. You who will smash her scroll at an enemy dealing glacial damage, restoring HP for all team members and performing lucky draw once. Lucky draw, she will obtain, you know, a random antique after the lucky draw. With the antique, her basic attack will activate the corresponding antique appraisal. Once the antique uh, can exist at a time, and newly drawn antiques will replace the existing one. So, looking at the antique appraisal, chime uh, will give attack the enemy with a chime, dealing glacial damage. Chime can effectively reduce the enemy's vibration strength, which is pretty damn good uh batter the enemy with Rui. um glacial damage this will make your damage multiplier higher uh Rui's a uh, higher damage multiplier ding will effectively break the enemy's stance and mask will pull in uh pull enemies in mask can pull enemies in along its path not exactly sure exactly what that one does chime sounds great ruji sounds great ding sounds great mask i'm wondering if it's just like they'll follow a certain path or if you'll be able to Bind them up all in one section. Either way, Antique Appraisal. This this sounds like a mini game. It sounds fun. Uh, Resin Liberation, Fortune's Favor. She'll hurl her scroll at an enemy, causing glacial damage. Blast the area on the blast. Four buttons will appear. You push the button within a specific time to obtain the corresponding antique. Otherwise, you'll obtain one random antique. Uh, again, another mini game. Sounds great. Uh, intro skill, Scrolls of Wonder, Toss the Scroll, Perform Lucky Draw Once, Outro, Timeless Classic, Incoming Resonator has their coordinated attack damage amplified by 100% or 28 seconds. That right there. I'm going to just say that, that that's, that's pretty damn good. Um, for four star, that's actually sounds really damn good for, you know, a coordinated attack damage implication for 100% for 28 seconds. Treasure piece, restore HP for all nearby team members based on 30% of the healing provided by resonant skill, skill, scroll deviation when the resonant skill antique appraisal is cast. 30%. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Uh, rare find gain 15 glacial damage bonus for 14 seconds when casting intro skill of wonders her stat bonus is going to be based on crit rate and attack with her resonant chain summon one you who will gain a 10 percent chance to gain immunity to damage interruption after casting lucky draw this effect will last for five seconds or until she switched out sun room siesta a perfect rhyme will additionally increase attack of poetic essence wants. Restless sleep will increase her by 20%, her attack by 20%. 
Frosted Lullaby. Resonant Scale Damage Bonus will increase by 20%. And every time a Resonator, uh, every Resonator Skill Scroll Division is cast, there will be undefined chance that the skill will not enter the cooldown. Oh, that's nice. For Summon 4. Uh, Dreamland right here. Intro Skill Scroll of Wonders was cast. Her crit rate is going to increase by 15% for 14 seconds. And her Summon 6, Slumber Evermore. When casting Resident Skill Antique Appraisal, gain one stack of blue of sky blue. Stackable up to four times, lasting seven seconds. Each stack will increase Yuhu's crit damage by 15%. This is a character that legitimately I would try to go, you know, I, I would while summoning for, you know, the shorekeeper, I would probably try to summon for her as well. And I would, you know, I'll be fine with one copy, but I would end up trying probably to go for at least two to three copies, if not more. If I can get, you know, a summon six on her, that would be great. Uh, but you know, I would say, you know, a as long as I get to summon three or summon four, I would be fine. Like I think that she would be great. So, in conclusion, they're saying you, who's an upcoming interesting four-star resonator, she brings random and fun skill, makes your game experience much more intense. Players are keen on pulling, blah blah blah. Offers more. Say okay, so that's just there such. I'm going to say that I think that she is going to do really well, and I think with the mini game, and I think with everything that she is incapable uh, capable with. I'm probably would look at doing the same thing I do with Bai Chi and I depending on how her healing where it's coming from because I'm not reading anything here like it's based on attack I'm not reading anything that's based on HP so at that point in time I possibly would consider doing you know a 4-4-1-1-1 four, four, one, one, one on on her just to be you know a straight up healer for at first you know limited resources then i probably would even consider you know depending on the how much her damage output is with the crit and everything else future wise even looking at changing that to a 433 you know one one a normal a normal style echo cost rejuvenation glow is a possibility with her but i'm thinking more on the lines that i am probably i'm probably going to end up putting more probably Hmm, that's actually a hard one. I'm thinking about doing Moonlit Clouds, honestly. But I probably would do a split build, actually. Do Moonlit Clouds and do Rejuvenation Glow and just test it out and see which way I'm going to go. So I have to play the character, see how I feel about the character with the mini game process, with the gambling, see how I feel. But I think, you know, putting her in a team with, like, Jinshi and Zeshi, you know, I think that would be fine. I think that would probably be where I would like to put her at is with the Jinshi team. If if anything, I could see putting her with Chang Li. I could see putting her on my Chang Li team. I could see her on a couple of different teams, to be completely honest. But I think primarily, depending on, you know, how much glacial damage comes out and everything else, if it's anything like Mortifi and everything else, is anything like Zaishi, I think I would throw her onto these the Jinshi team and try to build an incandescent meter with her fast as possible and use that. And then because you would use her with Zaishi with the coordinated attack, I think that would tremendously work. I think Zaishi, her, and Jinshi would probably be the team that I'm gonna run. So <clears throat> that's my thought process that in all honesty until the character is officially released and i can get my hands on her and actually play with her and test her around what i'm seeing on paper what i'm seeing right here on paper this is my thought process i think poetic essence you know lucky draw and antique appraisal is actually going to be really fun I think the character itself is going to be an RNG fest. It's going to be fun to play, and it's going to be intense. And I, I, I'm excited. I'm really excited. So, what's your thoughts about you? Is it, is it a character that you are looking to also add on to your team? Are you looking at building her up? Like I said, for me, I think I would end up building her up a little bit, but I would be mindful of the resource management. So, I would rely more on the echoes to fix the faults on you know actually building her and just make sure that you know she's utilized 
that she's decent enough to come in for the ultra skill mainly but i like to hear from you guys you let me know down in the comment section below and uh yeah if you like the video consider subscribing to the channel consider come and join our discord down uh link is in the description below and yeah until next time keep it classy keep it real keep it jazzy and i'll catch you on the flip side have a good one peace